Hi there, and uh, welcome to MS-DOS Game Reviews, where I play some old games in an emulator and post it here for posterity. Of course, uh, if you enjoy this sort of thing, it's for you know, your enjoyment as well. So today we are looking at a quite obscure title called Think Quick, released in 1987 by The Learning Company. So they've made some interesting interesting games and this this one is based on a game engine for robot odyssey i'll i'll put a link somewhere if you want to go check that out and see the the similarities between the games so 119 kilobytes and you have to solve puzzles so programmed on the same engine that uses the robot odyssey gertrude secret and rocky boots so I haven't haven't played the other two, but I definitely have played Robert Odyssey, and that was interesting and slightly mind bending. So uh, there's some screenshots, and it's only for MS DOS, and that's pretty much it. I've looked for a manual and couldn't find one. Um, I had some trouble getting the game to run. Um, oh. Uh, and I had to drop the cycles down to about 400 before it wouldn't crash anymore. I'm using the CGA composite mode because that just gives me a couple more uh, colors to play with. So here I am emulating a very, very slow IBM XT. And you can see the game runs beautifully. So we'll press spacebar. And there's a little worm. You can uh, change your character with the keys. Oh, keys and enter. So, no idea what that does anywhere else. But let's go to the night school. So welcome traveler, explore Mysticar Castle and chase the dragon away. Use a joystick or arrow keys to move. So there we go, that's you. And uh, if you've played Robot Odyssey, this should feel very familiar. So yeah, it's based on where you are. Ah, oh, the door closed, so there you go. And then you hit space bar to pick things up. And there's a dragon. Da, 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 da. So you gotta think quick. Apparently you have to think quick. The game gives you a little bit of a um a time incentive. And then of course run slowly just to mess you up. Uh, if I didn't have that flower with me, oh, uh, okay, so apparently that's napping now, and we can carry on. Okay, so what they say is at the, at the door here, that just tells you there's a worm close to the door, right? And yes, there is. Uh, luckily, this one is safe. Now they're talking about the hideouts, and you just press H. And this is your hideout, so you can pop into this wherever you like, um, and out. And this this is very similar to getting into a robot in Robot Odyssey. So let's let's work through the tutorial a little bit further. You can get these magical things. You press. Um, yeah, so. You, you press spacebar to pick things up, and now you have it. You press H for your hideout, and now suddenly you your hideout. And you drop this in the cauldron, I believe. And it does something. Okay.
right? So the people, you can actually look at where you are. Okay. Right, so I can walk away from the people again. There's like a map of where you are, of things you've done, all good stuff. Go back from the hideout and back into the game. So they tell us to look for three good things. Pick these up, up, hide out, drop it here, back out of the hideout. Yeah, uh, definite little puzzler. Now, of course, I have played through this tutorial yesterday, so it, it feels a little bit boring to me. This is a nice thing. So find the one thing that is the same about the two shapes, and you can look at the color, it's black or not black, the number of sides, and whether it has a hole in the middle. So then open the only two panels that fit the clue. So one thing that's the same, it has a hole. So it's this one, hole, pick it up, then go to the little thing, drop it back out of the hidey hole, Find the other one that has a hole. Pick it up, hidey hole. Outside, back out of the hidey hole. And then one thing that's the same for these two it is that they have three sides. Pick it up, hidey, back out. So, we'll get to play the game in a minute. So, again, three sides. And uh, pick it up. Okay, so there apparently is a map of a room and then there's a little black spot. And they'll tell you more about it in a minute black dot will appear. So, there you go. The picture you made in the passage finder box shows one of the two rooms below. The black dot shows where the secret passage is. So, it's not, not this room. This one just says hi. It's this room. Remember where the black dot is and find the secret passage in this room, then follow the arrow to find the magic thing that will give you the key. Okay, so there's a secret passage. And follow the arrow. But well, we need a magic thing. So we have something that must be behind a red tile. And open the door, find the magic thing, and we put it in the cauldron. And we wait. And we have a key. We pop out of the hidey hole and we go find the secret passage. So yeah, nice little puzzler, put things together, works on the short-term memory. Great game for kids. Man, look at that score rolling. You are now a true knight. Go out this way to begin the game in the castle courtyard. Think quick and good luck. Yeah, okay. So, find things behind secret panels that fit the owl's clue. Okay, there's some... door. So, the owl's clue says no hole. Um, special keys. Space bar, see? Not too many keys. And... Uh, Enter to go back. So let's go. 
Put things you find into the cold water passage finder. Okay, so now I'm the courtyard. And there's a worm. <clears throat> okay. Man. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I'm quicker than that worm. Yeah, okay. And okay. Yeah, so we'll solve the puzzle for no need. Ah, but that's the one I want anyways. I did say red, didn't I? Nothing. That's my thing. Okay, so we're looking for a room that looks like that, and there's a special. Okay. Uh, that's the room, isn't it? Back into the hideout. Yes. Uh. Okay. There. Cross it twice. Oh, ah. so the owl is definitely just a solid one. Okay. Well, I still have to find the key. Okay, hang on. Map. Okay. Right, back out of the map. Let's go take a look at the last room I haven't seen. Yeah, solid. They only give me one rose, eh? Okay. And I have a magic thing. It's not a very difficult game, you know, if, if they give you a warning if you made a mistake. It, you'd think that they let you struggle a bit with the wrong things, but no. That's not a key, is it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Back out of the hidey hole. Hmm. My guy is still sleeping. My secret passage, and I don't have a key. My hidey out. Hmm, fifteen map. So I've seen everything. And I need one more magic thing. Oh, dear. I 
Okay. Well, that one's solid too. Let's get this. Stick that old boot in the cauldron. And I have a key. Oh, oh, oh. Back out of the hideout. Let's uh, get around the snapping wood. And uh, go back to the hideout. Get my key. And lose a life. Slime worm belly. Oh dear. Dang it. No. Man, what a complicated digestive system. Was my special? Oh dear! Everything's changed. So that's a special. And it's just not here. Okay. So I found the secret passage. Oh dear. Right. I'm not going to carry on too much. I guess you guys get a good grip of the game. Um, you could press escape. And you could... Um, S to save your game, obviously. You press L to list save games, and there's one save games called Evert. Uh, enter to save the game. I wish I'll call it Evert. Uh, yes, we shall. Okay, so we press escape again. Oh, sorry, M for the menu. Alright, so character save timer on expert game and then apparently there's a castle creator. We haven't tried that yet. Make a new castle. Let's have a quick look. Make a game for a friend. See a guide for players. Game, game parts. What is this? Make walls in the game room. Press P, paint. Press spacebar button to draw and erase. Ah. Okay, to the game. P. And the spacebar. Okay. Alrighty. And then you can make your fiendish puzzles. I'm going to press P again. Oh, there were some more clues. What is what was the other clues? How do I add doors? Unchangeable real game. Hmm. Okay, that's game. So you could just make a maze, but where's Test restart? Prize editor, game rooms editor, doors and slime worm editor. Mm, okay. Yeah, this this could be a lot of fun. This could be a lot of fun. You can pick a different door. Slow, medium, fast, slime worms. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, yeah. 
All right, um, I'm going to call it here and tell you thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, hopefully we'll see each other on the next one. But in the meantime, have a fantastic day and uh, goodbye.